I'm going to show you how to build and deploy a Solidity smart contract using Hardhat. It's an incredible tool. It's kind of becoming the industry standard right now for smart contract development. It makes the process so easy. I did this all last night while laying on my couch eating chocolate. So we're going to get into it, make this as fast and simple as possible. First, you will need npm and node installed, and then go ahead and run npm init to create a new project with a package JSON. That will take a minute to run, and when it finishes, we will go ahead and run npx hardhat. You'll choose create a sample project and move ahead as OK with all the options. You'll see that it has created a project for us. We have a contracts folder that's been generated with an actual Solidity smart contract inside of it. We have a scripts folder where our deploy script is going to live, and we also have a tests folder. As a quick reminder, there is a Solidity syntax highlighter plugin that you can install for VS Code to make it easier to look at. So if we run npx hardhat again, we'll get a list of all the commands that hardhat gives us and what we could do with them. So let's go ahead and run npx hardhat compile. And when that finishes, we'll see that an artifacts folder has been created, which actually has the compiled code inside of it. Now that we've compiled the code, let's go ahead and run npx hardhat test. And we can see that the sample test does pass successfully. And in order to get this to happen, we didn't even have to spin up a ganache server or anything like that. This is because Hardhat uses something called the Hardhat Network, which is a built-in fake blockchain feature. So if we run npx Hardhat node, it'll actually spin up a Hardhat Network node, and we can look at the list of accounts, and we can use this for testing. This is really, really cool, and in my opinion, is much easier than using something like Truffle and Ganache for a local blockchain. But what's even cooler is if we come into the Hardhat config file, and we paste this little chunk of networks code inside the module.exports, we can actually define another blockchain network to use uses the default test network rather than the hard hat network. So you could actually even use a fork of mainnet Ethereum for testing your smart contracts just by changing this right here. So that's a pretty powerful feature. One last thing to point out, if we come into the actual smart contract here in greeter.soul, you will notice we have imported hard hat slash console.soul. This actually gives us the ability to console log from within our Solidity code. So you can see if we run npx hardhat test again, those console.log outputs are actually coming directly from the smart contract itself, not from the test file. So once you're done writing all of your actual smart contract logic, we're going to come back into the hardhat config file and go ahead and deploy this to a test network. To do this, you'll need an Alchemy API key and a Ropsten private key. To get your Alchemy API key, just go to alchemy.com, create your first app, and make sure you select Ropsten as the network. When you select the app and hit view key, it's gonna give you the key right there that you can copy and paste and put that right into your hard hat config file. To get your Ropsten private key, go ahead and go open up a MetaMask wallet and make sure that you have the Ropsten network selected. Then you're gonna click the three dots and go into account details. Export private key, type in your password, and it's going to show you your private key to paste into the config file. Now make sure you don't share your private keys with anyone ever. The next thing you're going to need is some fake ETH that we can use for testing on the Ropsten test network. So we're going to come out to the Ropsten Ethereum faucet and just paste in our Ethereum address, and it's going to give us some test ether if we just wait. Usually it only takes a couple of seconds, and then you will see the new balance with your test ether pop up in your MetaMask wallet account. Now let's go ahead and rename our sample scripts.js to deploy.js for clarity. Then we're going to go ahead and run that script with npx hardhat run, and we're going to specify the Ropsten network. When that finishes, it's going to give us the address that that contract was deployed to. And if we go out to etherscan.io and paste that in, we can see that there is our smart contract that has been deployed to the Ropsten test network blockchain. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So hardhat is a pretty amazing tool. It's really making smart contract development a lot simpler. So I highly recommend playing around with this and hope this was helpful for all of you building your first smart contracts. See you in the next one.